Good morning, folks. Summary and announcement. The mid-sized plasma filament dancing over the northeastern limb decided he wasn't messing with the earth-facing quiet effect and unraveled. Today we've got a geomagnetic storm to report, sunspot analysis, a huge blow to dark matter science, a little fun poked at mainstream paradigms, your look at pressure and radar back here on Earth, and all the usual space weather. In about two hours, a highly trained monkey will play Yankee Doodle with one of my wisdom teeth, so for a day or two it's 100% possible that these morning news videos will be music only with no narration. We'll see how I feel. We're coming to spaceweathernews.com, and in 193 angstroms, it is quite difficult right now to pull focus onto one area. Bright spots, minor pops, a dark coronal hole patch, and many more thin writhing filaments. No CMEs erupted in Earth's direction, and right now that filament on the southeast turning in is the primary eruption threat to start the week, much bigger than the others. Focusing briefly on that coronal hole here in 211 angstroms, we expected a minor lithospheric disruption only, and in Costa Rica, it appears Turrialba was happy to oblige. Let's hope that's all we get from there. Earth-facing quiet effect is utterly dominant here. No significant solar flaring. Two sunspot groups stand out above the rest. Bottom right, we see delta-class magnetism, where blue positive runs up against red negative there at the south. And back east on the north, the spots are split with only penumbral magnetism of opposing polarity at this time. They do have size and time on their side, however. Blue triangle shifts in the solar wind. Orange density bunching occurs, followed by speedier streams in yellow. That's a co-rotating region involved with these coronal holes, and it triggered a geomagnetic storm overnight. KP hit 5, with both K and Q at Karuna hitting 6 briefly in the past few hours. Level 2 storms there. We have recently seen a major blow come to dark matter physics. Turns out that the high gamma population near the center of the galaxy is not evenly distributed and homogeneously produced by dark matter annihilation. Instead, it appears to be coming from definite sources. That means it's coming from stars, not some mysterious force. Of course, they'd need someone to confirm all these heretical blasphemies against mainstream science. Well, how about Princeton? Uh-oh, dark matter. Better take a step back towards the door. This article is more of a fascination piece, but I wanted to remind everyone that while we marvel at the math, astronomy, architecture, and philosophy of many great ancient cultures, we refuse to see a shred of merit in their most valued stories telling of chaos in the skies and on Earth. Hmm, see what I did there? Remember folks, I'm getting my wisdom tooth out today, so who knows what will shake out tomorrow. The news will be here. It might just be my voice missing for a day or two. Trust me, we can make it work. Got pressure and radar, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.